So, Steve here, early ish in the morning, um, sort of just after 7.30. I'm going to show you um, some of my Pattaya shortcuts. Some, some cases you might say that they're not really shortcuts, but I'm using them to avoid uh, traffic, you know, there's uh, not a lot of footpaths around here and that sort of thing, but so I've got some little routes that uh, can save you some time and some bother because you don't have to worry about the cars, motorbikes, delivery trucks and all those sort of things coming up and down. A little bit of noise here because I'm on third road. Um, I'm on my way to breakfast as I'm shooting this, um, so this way I've got the choice of going down um, Soy Chai Poon or Soy um, Pothole or Soy Lenki. Um, I'm standing outside uh, Excite Square and I'll show you the little route I take through here which will link up with Soy Excite and as I say um, it will keep you away from the traffic so you don't have to think about these things. Pretty quiet through here at this time of day. Um, we've got one car parked over there. We've got somebody coming from this other direction, but we'll get away from them. A little bit cooler. Since it's been cooler, some of the dogs have been out and about. Um, this one here looks interested. or not obviously decided that I'm not a threat this place here has been going um, under uh, for a fit out the sign above the bar would suggest that it is going to be a bar these were windows um, seems surprising to take a unit that's got windows in and then block them out but maybe it's a uh, size issue you can only get that size unit if you've got those windows on the end as well. I don't know. Anyway, so what I did um, mention before was about the dog. So the dogs, there's a few dogs roam through here. So just watch your feet because they don't care where they drop their stuff, if you know what I mean. So. And you're not going to have to put up with me talking all the way through here. Um, from time to time when there's nothing going on I'm going to speed this up so that uh, we get to where we're going. So on the end there is uh, where that 7-Eleven is, that's Soy Excite. So we've cut a great big chunk off the corner by walking through the middle of um, Excite Square, at least I believe that's what it's called. Now going through the car park of SC Villa. There's a dog here that barks at me sometimes, and he's been quiet for a couple of days. So, here's someone cutting through. You see how he tried to cut right in front of me? Lovely. And uh, it's normally the um, motorbike taxis and grab drivers that I have trouble with. So there's a P Plus Hotel. There's a, there's a few dogs that we've avoided up the other way up so Excite. But they're all right, they're well fed, and um, I've been able to pass them by with no problem at all, whenever I've encountered them. And here we are approaching Soi Chai Poon. Just have a quick check to the left to make sure that there's no no traffic. All right. Ready, car. And here is Soy Vocal. You might recognise. Okay. So that's that's my first one. So I'm just coming up to another. I'm backtracking up so excited now back to one of my other bits where I chop out the traffic and all that by not going down um, Soi Chai Poon uh, sorry by not going down Soi Bacau 
So um, this is just a little street that runs parallel with Bacow, but uh, there's not normally any traffic down it, um, so it allows you to walk through unimpeded, and it's uh, a lot safer than walking down the side of Bacow. So we'll head down there in a minute. So this is the surroundings and here we have the little turn now later in the day the food delivery guys come down here with their little sidecars and all that sort of thing and it does get a little bit busy it does seem that the uh, motorbike taxis and grab drivers also use it and because there's less traffic they tend to try and drive down here faster so I don't quite know how they're going to get on, but um, yeah. Hello. Since I've been walking down here, just in front of us, uh, this girls, girls, girls bar. That's a that's a new fit out and um, this one here looks looks like it must be close to finished as well I normally just walk past them now this one on the corner is um, probably where you're going to recognize but that's the Saudi ECM hotel ahead of us I think you might um, recognize the, the, the monument there and then we go back there's soy honey over there uh, Further down Bacow, and there's the, the rock factory sign up there. Okay, so that's my second one. So it's about 8:30 now, and I'm on Soy Honey, and um, Soy Honey is another one of these narrow little um, alleys, and uh, already I've had to get out of the way of a car. But, you know, it's it's another narrow street, but here's a um, cut through I use to get from Soy Honey to. Uh, score beach or into um, tree town area just just feels safer you know because there's uh, less cars around so anyway let's let's get on with it so there's honey body massage so we're a little little way down soy honey anyone who knows soy honey knows where it is and um, ahead is the aqua hotel and uh, at this time of day there's not too much going on around here it's about 8.30, I took a break from my breakfast. So, and we might come back there because it's an alternate way in. Uh, there's another soy, there's a... What would it be? Is it soy 10? I can't remember exactly. There's a massage on the corner. But we'll go there so we can look at that. But we'll go through this way first. So we'll, we'll head through to um, Tree Town. Again, this is somewhere which is usually very quiet, normally safe to walk right down the middle of, like I am right now. But as usual, the grab drivers and the um, motorbike taxis have uh, decided that, uh, well, they're aware of it too, and they speed up coming through here because they can actually go quicker through here than they can in the, um, on the main streets because of the congestion so here we are coming out to toward tree town uh, now it's lovely and dry here at the minute this area that i'm walking through right now that gets uh very very wet the water stays here for quite a bit after some heavy rain um, so that's something to take into account when you're planning which route you're going to use and so you know being early in the morning not a lot going down that's towards tree town so we at the end and that's down towards school beach and this is just what you're looking through so it's beside this worsties and that's my third one here on what I think is Soy 10 I'll confirm that soon but uh, just to show you the other end of this cut through or what I'm calling a cut through so there is the uh, the honey body massage and let's go down here and see where we come out I know there's a massage place on the right hand side um, 
it's about 8 40 now and you can see people are out and about um, so it's not that using this route is traffic free it's just there's less of it less chance of being hit um, I also when I first sort of went looking up and down these places it's somewhere new it's like what on earth's up there and I, I don't actually I haven't rented a motorbike yet I've just been walking around Pattaya since I've been here and um, I've been able to get around quite easily walking using the BART bus or bulk taxi depending on where I'm going so that noise is coming from just on the left there's some construction going on there um, probably a new hotel I suppose and here's the other entrance for Hemingways um, the, the entrance I'm more familiar with is the one that's on um, Soy Honey so where are we here it is it, and it is as I thought Sweeting. and here we are on second row so I have another little cut through that I use that keeps me away from the traffic on Soy Bacow uh, it just seems to get so congested I have actually been hit um, only on the arm fortunately so uh, there was no no harm done but that was actually at 8 30 in the morning just one of those situations where there was cars on both sides and this car drove by hit me with a wing mirror didn't stop um, no broken mirror or anything on the ground so my opinion is is that um, the person had probably already hit somebody else that had broken the mirror previously otherwise uh, I might have been actually hurt whereas I was just sort of shocked anyway I'll show you where I'm uh, where my next cut through is to avoid the traffic on the cow so there's JJ's bar and I'm going to head right through there so this is uh, I'm going to be headed through the car park and it's almost diagonally opposite the last cut through that I've come through to come out of soy honey The other thing is, is, is uh, on my on the left as you're looking at the screen. If you come through to walk through the middle of the bars there, if you come through, I don't know anything from 3 p.m. or something like that. There's all these guys with the motorbikes running backward and forward with the um, food that they're trying to sell, and um, they can be cutting in and out of you, and that can get a bit hairy sometimes. Also, there's the motorbike taxis bringing girls to work and things like that. So, <clears throat> that's another reason why I would um, use this cut through just for safety. Also, um, particularly after I've just had my hair cut, it's a bit thin on top of these days, which is a bit unfortunate. But also, I've got some friends that I've shown this, these shortcuts to, and uh, they've got bald heads, and um, this particular one provides a bit of shade, a bit of respite from the sun, so that's one of the things that they like. So so we're sort of on the um, the other side of Trita. Do you, do you want to be on? <laughs> I, I can stop it, I can cut it out. Can cut it out? Yeah, I'll cut you out if you don't want to be in it. Oh, I don't mind. Good morning. Okay, we're back on camera. I bumped into a friend, so uh, people are out and about already. Uh, anyway, so this is obviously uh, a little bit shaded and I'm just uh, headed through to Soy Made in Thailand um, maybe it's a um, sort of forgotten uh, area now that it doesn't go all the way through to second road but for me uh, I can come through here I can because I can walk unim unimpeded it's actually quicker than walking down the cow. I don't have to think too much about am I going to be um, hit by a car. I always try and walk 
facing the traffic anyway, but because of people overtaking, coming right over to the other side of the road and things like that, that's not necessarily going to um, save me from any of those issues any either, so yeah. As you can see, that's the Trench Town bar directly ahead of us. And we're now at the end of Sui Made in Thailand. And there is what the cow looks like from here. And down that way is only about 30 or 40 meters away is the um, market by the Amazon Coffee. Uh, leading up to that bend there, the sort of Witherspoons used to be referred to as Archon Corner. All right, hello again, and uh, I'm on Soy Lenki now. What I'm going to show you now is a bit of a cut through, um, taking you to Third Road. It just cuts out a little bit of um, Lenki, Lenki being one of those roads that again doesn't have a footpath or anything like that, and uh, just, just my idea. I, I like to get out of the traffic and uh, try and uh, keep myself out of harm's way as much as I can. Um, so this is, I don't know if you can see it from behind me, but I'll turn the camera around and um, we'll show you exactly where I am on Sui Lenki. And, uh, but it's the, sort of like the entrance to the Vogue Hotel. And it cuts, cuts a little bit off the corner off um, Sui Lenki and takes you to Third Road. Right, so there's, there's looking back towards Soy Bacow, and that's up to Third Road, and there we are. So I've come in here. As usual, it's, it's not completely without traffic, but it's just easier, a little bit more stress-free, lots of construction noise, more renovations being done. Um, this Vogue Hotel is certainly a big unit. Um, like I said, I try and walk on the side where uh, I'm facing the traffic and can see the traffic coming towards me, but every so often you need to cross over and for, for whatever reason that's just the side that you want to be on. To, place you're going to visit or whatever. So, and that's third road ahead of us. It's approaching 11.30 on a Saturday morning. Not terribly busy but there's a there's a bit of traffic on it. Okay. So I'm on the way now to um, Bacow Market. This is the way I go because I live on the other side of Third Road. So if you can see the castle over there, that's a um, fetish club. It seems that fetishism has uh, been alive and well in Thailand for some time. That little soy there is typically the soy that I would come out of when I'm going to Bacow Market. And this, the pavement. That's the reason why I use this route to go to Bacow. I like walking to the Bacow market. I like walking, but walking alongside Bacow is sometimes like taking your, your life into your, your, your own hands and, or putting it in someone else's hands. Uh, it doesn't mean that just because there's a footpath in front of us that we're not gonna be faced with people driving on the footpath either. That's a real possibility, but it's more relaxed. This is probably a slightly longer journey to get to the Bacow Market. The other way of, of, of going to the Bacow Market, if that's where you want to go, or to get down to uh, Pattaya Thai to um, go to Tukkom or something like that, would be to take the BART bus. Um, so of course, once you're inside the BART bus, you're all fine as well but anyway I'm 
needing to get some exercise or feel better if I'm getting some sort of exercise every day so I tend to walk around I'm using a DJI action cam with the stabilizing turned on so uh, I'm not walking terribly carefully to try and avoid bounce hopefully the hopefully the smarts inside the phone inside the camera are taking care of that if not apologize for it maybe being a bit bouncy but it's not a hundred percent smooth So this is where I cut in toward the market. This is Soy Chaman Prakiat 33. Maybe you're a more visual person and um, this here can be your visual cue for where you need to turn. So let's go down Chaman Prakiat 33. And there's some businesses back here which surprised me the first time I came here. No idea as to whether that's a good or bad visa place, but there's a visa business there. And I know I have um, gone away from the footpath but usually there's very little traffic through here. Well, on my previous walks, there's been very little traffic through here. And now that there's nothing coming, if you can... Oh, now someone's, someone's calling, but if you can hear how quiet it is, it's, you're only one street away from Third Road, and it's almost completely silent. You know, it's hard to believe that you're in the in the madness when it can be so quiet just a matter of steps away so I presume that's a Thai business Little cab And that is Pattaya Thai ahead there, where you can see the cars passing by. And we're going right. Not far to go now. So we got these coffee shops here. I'm not going to... Um, Film directly at the coffee shops, but there's a good good number of choices here for coffee. There's the parking for the market if you want to take advantage of that. The price said it's 30 baht for a car. Apparently it was 10 baht before COVID. COVID saw the price go up to 30. And here we are, inside the market. 